Alleluia, Christ is risen, the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I'm very glad that you were with us. Now, as always, we're going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm 94, and then we will be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. On this day the Lord has acted, we will rejoice and be glad in it. In reading Psalm chapter 94. Lord, avenging God, avenging God, show yourself. Rise up, judge the earth, pay back the arrogant exactly what they deserve. How long will the wicked, O Lord, how long will the wicked win? They spew arrogant words, all the evildoers are bragging. They crush your own people, Lord, they abuse your very own possession. They kill widows and immigrants, they murder orphans, saying all the while, the Lord can't see it, Jacob's God doesn't know what's going on. You ignorant people better learn quickly. You fools, when will you get some sense? The one who made the ear, can't he hear? The one who formed the eye, can't he see? The one who disciplines nations, can't he punish? The one who teaches humans, doesn't he know? The Lord does indeed know human thoughts, knows they are nothing but a puff of air. The people you discipline, Lord, are truly happy, the ones you teach from your instruction, giving them relief from troubling times until a pit is dug for the wicked. The Lord will not reject his people, he will not abandon his very own possession. No, but justice will once again meet up with righteousness, and all those whose heart is right will follow after. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will help me against evildoers? If the Lord hadn't helped me, I would live instantly in total silence. Whenever I feel my foot slipping, your faithful love steadies me, Lord. When my anxieties multiply, your comforting calms me down. Can a wicked ruler be your ally, one who wreaks havoc by means of the law? The wicked gang up against the lives of the righteous. They condemn innocent blood. But the Lord is my fortress. My God is my rock of refuge. He will repay them for their wickedness completely destroy them because of their evil. Yes, the Lord our God will completely destroy them. Right, and now I'll be putting the Nicene Creed in the comment so we can recite it together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, he is spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Alright, and now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, and let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I'm putting in the comments right now. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. 
And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. <clears throat> as always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our presiding Bishop Raul, our own Bishop Justin, our pastors Sean, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, and all pastors, priests, and deacons of our Diocese of the Emmaus Way, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep, abiding peace, and we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible circumstances. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems and who recently had a bad fall, Pan's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Minister Chapman, for Paula's sister, for Christina, for Deborah's housing situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Kate's grandmother, who is going through health issues, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer, for Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment, for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently, for Michelle's mother, who is adjusting to living with diabetes, for Vonda, who is recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, for Candace's daughter Nadia, who is facing serious health issues, and for Candace and all her children as they adjust to a new way of life, for Tim, that his recovery from back surgery may continue, for Rose Burkhardt, whose husband passed away recently, for Kiri Bolger and her son Bryson, who lost the rest of their family to a severe storm, for William Hawes, who is recovering from brain surgery, and for Virginia, who has breast cancer, for Jennifer's friend Manta, who's going through a custody battle, for Valerie's friend who has long COVID, and for Anthony's husband Michael, who's struggling with his health and has major breathing issues. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness. For Nikki, while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day. And for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as her family adjusts to having Allie at home. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Reel, Michael Kinley and Owen Bolger, Melissa Baisley, Randy, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I'm putting rethinkfaith.org slash prayer in the comments where you can go to submit your own prayer request. And as always, I would ask you to specify if your prayer request is public or private. 
The public prayer request will be here. The private prayer request I will only share with the Journey's leadership team. Either way, you'll have people praying for you though. And then also please send us updates so that we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that's all I have for today. So to anyone who's been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.